Our next comic coming to the stage, a very, very talented man. Uh, I appreciate him coming out of his busy schedule. He tours all across the country performing comedy. You may have seen him. Um, where could I have seen him? Well, I could have seen him almost anywhere because you work almost every club there is. And no one was like, ooh, well, who is this masked man? I say. He, um, not only does he do comedy, but he is also a valued uh, uh, political commentator and a die-hard Orioles fan. Please welcome the legend in making, Mr. Tom Myers. Keep it going for Dave, everybody. Show him some love. Keep it going for Mike Finazzo also. I love that guy. Also give it up for the pretend Giants fan and the sex offender who were up here earlier. This is a wild night up here. As Dave said, I do travel a lot. Uh, I just got back from uh, Nevada. That's a very interesting state. Uh, if you drive through, you see a lot of these little desert towns. These towns are rough, man. I'll tell you how, town, uh, how rough these towns are. If you want to find uh, Sons of Anarchy, they air it on the Lifetime Network in that, uh, in that particular zip code. Yeah, very rough. Out in Nevada, of course, it's like the gambling capital of the United States. They have slot machines everywhere in Nevada. They have slot machines at gas stations, okay? Right at the gas pumps. Like, that's very detrimental to me because I rented a Ford Focus when I was out there. That's supposed to be like one of the most environmentally friendly cars out there. I filled it up, cost me 500 bucks. <laughs> But uh, I do see a lot of sights when traveling. One of the most interesting sights I've ever seen, uh, I went to a strip club in Alabama. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, man. You really want to live. Go to a strip club in Alabama, guys. Every so often, you'll sit next to this one guy who's there going, Wee! Then he'll look at me and go, see that up there? There's my sister and my cousin. <laughs> and there's one girl up there. That's... <laughs> but, uh, you know, I do do comedy, which uh, I love doing. And uh, uh, I also do a lot of charity work also. I work for an organization called Speed Meals on Wheels. Anybody ever hear of that one? Very good organization. We drop cases of Dexatrim outside people's homes. It's... <laughs> They really appreciate it. We go back next week, they go, That's all right, we ain't hungry now. <laughs> I'm a very kind-hearted guy, I am. I donate to a lot of uh, good causes. Uh, I had a lot of old clothes I don't wear anymore. I gave them all the goodwill. Uh, I had a bunch of hangers left over. I donated them to my local women's health clinic. So... <laughs> hey, they had the same reaction you did, all right? Because they were plastic, and, you know... But uh, I also do, I'm also a PA announcer for uh, youth baseball tournaments. That's usually, that's a, a very fun gig. I enjoy it. And, uh, it's, I, and I gotta tell you, I mean, it may only be youth baseball, but the parents and the coaches, they are very intense there. Very intense. Every so often I have to be like, you know, no, uh -uh, I cannot overrule the umpire's call. I'm sorry. I don't care if you're outfielder. He's only nine years old. He still throws like a little bitch. All right? Just do your job better, okay? Yeah. But, uh, so, <clears throat> Jerry Sandusky, convicted, going to the big house. <laughs> Only five people clapped, the rest of you are NAMBLA members, that's cool. But uh, one of the things that amuses me, being from the Baltimore area, is that one of our sportscasters, sportscasters, is named Jerry Sandusky. Like, not related to the guy, different spelling of, of the name, but, uh, because he gets a lot of phone calls and emails about this, asking if he's any connection to the Jerry Sandusky up at Penn State. And I'm just worried one day he's going to snap during uh, one of his sports casts and he'll go, and that's your Orioles and Ravens update. I'm Jerry Sandusky. Not the same one who touches kids! <laughs> but uh, one of my all-time favorite news stories was uh, the founder of the role-playing game Dungeons of Dragons passed away at the age of 69. That was a very historic moment. That's the first time the words Dungeons, Dragons, and 69 have ever appeared in the same sentence. I'm glad that went over what I did, because I'm usually worried someone's going to come up to me after the show and go, Listen, I don't know if you ever played Dungeons and Dragons, 
but it's awesome, all right? I don't know if you've ever been chased by kobolds and gnolls and poison swords, all right? Have you ever faced down a goblin or a troll trying to get back their jewel and crush the token of power that you stole from them? I say no, but I have gotten laid, so uh, I don't know what's better, getting a hand job or learning how to roll 13-sided dice. Oh. But I do know I made a good choice coming out here. You guys have been terrific. Thank you for coming out and supporting live comedy. My name is Tom Myers. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you. Another well, round of applause for Tom Myers, everybody. All the way down from Harper County. Yeah, there was a toll involved getting down here. Good job. Thanks, Tom.